Loved ones of actress Ann Hayes had been hoping for a miracle after her horrific crash last week in Mar Vista. But now the family is making arrangements to fulfill her wish of being an organ donor. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal is following the story from the hospital in West Hills. Jazz. Well, Juan, reps for actress Ann Hayes say that she has been declared legally dead, but she is being kept on life support for now here at the Grossman Burn Center in West Hill so that doctors can determine if her organs can be donated as she had wished. It's been a week since actress Ann Hayes crashed her car into a house in Mar Vista. The fiery crash destroyed a home and left Hayes in critical condition at a burn center in West Hills. The actress never regained consciousness. In a statement, her 20 year old son Homer said, in part, after six days of almost unbelievable emotional swings, I am left with a deep, wordless sadness. Hopefully, my mom is free from pain and beginning to explore what I like to imagine as her eternal freedom. It's unfortunate. It is very sad. But, you know, you look at a woman who had such tremendous highs and also in her life, so many tremendous lows in her life ends on this tragic accident. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier says Hayes was vocal and open about her mental health problems. To remember, when she broke up with Ellen, she was found the next day wandering around and she mumbled that she might have taken ecstasy. Uh, she has been very honest about her struggles. On Twitter, Ellen DeGeneres spoke out about Hayes, her former partner, whom she was with from 1997 to 2000, saying, This is a sad day. I'm sending Ann's children, family, and friends all of my love. That relationship that made the world go round in a circle. And at the time, it was so groundbreaking. You know, nowadays, no one bats an eye at a same sex couple. But back then, in 1997, you know, Ann had said that. She was going to a movie premiere and they told her she couldn't walk the carpet with Ellen. When he gets home, he will see a note that I wrote saying that I'm leaving for Europe tonight. She was an Emmy and Tony nominated actor. I mean, I could reach down and, and grab it. Donnie Brasco, six days and seven nights, volcano. There was a run that she had in the 90s and early 2000s. Rep said Hayes was being kept on life support so doctors could determine if she was a match for organ donation. A USC organ transplant doctor says in every case, they have to determine if the organs are healthy. If the organs are still functional, uh, maybe, maybe not at 100%, they may still be able to donate those organs um, because the people who are in need of the organs uh, basically don't have any function of the organ. So there, there has to be, there is, there is a threshold for kind of functional activity of the, uh, of the organs um, to see if they're viable. A statement released on behalf of her family and friends Friday reads, Today we lost a bright light, a kind and most joyful soul, a loving mother and a loyal friend. Anne will be deeply missed, but she lives on through her beautiful sons, her iconic body of work and her passionate advocacy, her bravery for always standing in her truth, spreading her message of love and acceptance will continue to have a lasting impact. Now, the LAPD is investigating this as a preliminary felony DUI crash because there was the presence of drugs in her system. Although they would not say what those drugs were, they are waiting on the results of a second blood test. Live here in West Hills, Jasmine Beal, KCAL 9 News. Jasmine, thank you.